Hey everybody, this is Dave, and in this video, we're gonna talk about playing solo in Pulp Valley. Before we get started, please take a moment and show your support. Click that like and share and subscribe button for us. For the most part, when you're playing Pulp Alley solo, it's the same game, and most of the rules work as normal. There are a few key differences, and that's what we're gonna go over today. First, let's talk about the leagues. You'll normally use two leagues. One league will be your own league, and you pretty much play it exactly as you would normally. The other league is called the Bot League, and it's identified like that so that you know you only have limited control over that league. When it comes to activating, you throw out the rules for being the director. Instead, at the start of each turn, you simply pick the league that you want to activate, and then you activate all the characters in that league before going to the other league. Now, normally I like to activate the bot league first, and this really gets down to how challenging you want to make the scenario. Another thing that's different about playing solo is that you do not use the fortune deck. Instead, you use the solo deck. And there's one rule to really remember when you're using the solo deck, and that is when you activate the first three characters each turn, you draw and resolve one solo card. All right, let's play through one turn as an example. This is basically set up from our last video where we talked about creating and setting up scenarios. So based on this situation and then and these positions, I think it would be more challenging for Jungle Girl if I activated Minerva's League first. So that's what I'm going to do. When you activate the bots, you start with the bot that is closest to an enemy. So I'm gonna say that's this fellow over here. He draws and he gets when it counts. That's a good card, boys and girls, and I'm going to attach that to his character card so that he can use that later in the scenario. He continues his activation and he's going to move six inches towards this plot point and he's going to shoot at Rook. He's got two die six to shoot. Rook will try to dodge. A four. That doesn't sound that hard. So let's see if, if Rook could beat that. Oh, he did not. Look at that, boys and girls. All right, that means Rook took a hit, and he's going to have to roll a health check. He's got a health of a D8. And he failed that too, boys and girls. This is going bad. We're going to put a marker out here to show that Rook is now injured. All right. This is going bad for Jungle Girl already. Uh, the next character I'm going to activate is this Rifleman here. As soon as he activates, I have to draw a card. Watch your head. It is a peril. And you use the peril at the bottom of that card. He's going to have to roll one success with cunning or finesse. You know what? I'm going to try to dodge it instead. That will end his activation. Even if I pass it, I did. I passed the dodge, but that will end his activation. At least he's not gone. All right. The third character I'm going to activate is this fellow here. He is more of a scout guy. And let's see what he gets. Surprise twist, boys and girls. That changes everything. What that means is that you stop immediately activating the current league and you and you have to switch and start activating the other league. Very cool twist. All right, let's keep going. The next character I'm going to activate is going to be Rook. Rook is injured now and he's going to head up against this rock here. He's getting into position. Hopefully he can make his recovery check. This is looking bad for him. The next character I'm going to activate is going to be the tiger, Shaitan. And Shaitan is going to run all the way out here and take a position guarding that plot point. Guarding Jack Stanton's down in that lion pit, if you remember. The last character that I'm going to activate is Jungle Girl. And she will head out this way as well. All right, that is all of Jungle Girl's League. Now we switch back to activating Minerva's League. She's already activated three characters, so now we're gonna have to activate the remaining three characters. We're gonna do Minerva. Minerva is gonna move six inches and she's going to shoot at the tiger. Minerva normally has three die 10 to shoot. She's gonna get an extra dice because of the short range. 
She has an eight and a seven. The tiger is going to be dodging. It has four die eight for dodge. Let's see here. The tiger cannot stop either one of the hits. So the tiger takes two hits and is gonna have to roll a two dice health check. Here's his health check. He passed it. Very good. The tiger passed his health check. Now, the next character we're going to activate is another, uh, another Ascari. He's going to move up, and he will shoot at the tiger. He's also in short range, so he's going to get four die six to throw at the tiger. Oh, my gosh. Three hits. Three good hits. The tiger rolls to dodge. Oh, look at that. The, the, the tiger dodges it, stops all three of the Ascari's hits. And the next thing that's going to happen is they got one character left. We have Ramjit, and Ramjit is within range to rush, and that's what he's going to do. Ramjit runs up. He's a, ti he's, a, he's a tiger fighter from way back. He runs up to engage the tiger in hand-to-hand -hand combat. The tiger has now been in two fights. He's down to rolling two die eight to brawl or four die eight to dodge. You know what? In this situation, he's going to go ahead and fight back. So Ramjit got a seven and the tiger gets a seven and a six. Oh, what would you do, boys and girls? What would you do? Is Ramjeet going to be brave and try and get some hits in? Or is he, <laughs> is he, he going to play defensive and knock out one of the Tiger's hits? This is, this is what it's about, boys and girls. All right. You know what? We want to see some blood here. So uh, Ramjeet says, take them all. That means Ramjeet's going to have to roll a two dice health check. He made it! Ramjeet is strong, and the tiger has to roll a one dice health check, and the tiger made it as well. And that ends the first turn of our solo example. Boys and girls, we're going to continue this in the next video. Don't miss it. We're going to continue this and play it all the way to the end. Thank you so much for watching. Please click that like and share and subscribe button for us. This is Dave. We'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.